Hey, this is the Finder, and I decided to do something a little different. I should have done this before some other events I've been to, but I've been a lazy fat ass. So today, we're going to be taking a little journey to New Jersey, the stink capital of the East Coast, if you will. We're going to be heading over to M1 Global's uh, show. Today is June 26, 2010. We're going to be seeing M1 Global's Selection Americas, whatever fancy name they have. I'm here with Peter Lampasona in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon that we're driving. And we've already made uh, one wrong turn, but we're gonna make up for that somehow along the way. Hopefully we'll find our way to Jersey, and if not, we'll die trying, right Pete? Well, you should see the amount that I speed once we hit the uh, once we hit the whole Atlantic City uh, turnpike. Yeah, the faster we get out of Jersey, the better. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna be too pressed for time. Uh, this is the uh, beginning of our journey, and yeah, we're still in Queens where we're beginning, and we've got about a close to three hour trip, depending on how traffic goes. I am wearing my Lucky Green Skin Industry shirt. I'll try and get a shot of that. I wear it all these uh, all these shows because I get really good photos when I do for some reason. I'm not sure why. And Pete is wearing his uh, normal plain polo shirt. Not as impressive, but still very, very striking and fitting. Well, you know, I like to I like to dress fancy for the M1 people. Those Russians, they have a very high taste of their clothing and very high standards. Yeah. Look at Fedor and his lovely polo sweaters. <laughs> Stripey sweaters of doom. And you'll notice that there's no microphone because I'm also still being a lazy fat ass while filming this, but oh well, you're gonna have to deal with it. So this is the start of our journey. We're gonna be documenting the entire trip once we get there and when we get back. So yeah, you'll also notice my hair now is not wind destroyed. Um, but as the trip progresses, my hair will get slowly destroyed by the wind. So yeah, look forward to that. This is the beginning of the journey to M1 Global. So we are in, I believe, uh, the Bronx now and we have already hit traffic. Uh, trying to get a better shot of it, maybe you can see it just to come in the window. Either way, we've already slowed down to crawl and we're not even out of New York City yet. The thing is, once we get out of New York City, the slowing down is also pretty much done. Until um, we get to Atlantic City, which is when the, uh, that's when the pain starts back again. Yeah, but like then it's just, what, two miles? Between the whole lot of nothing and when the sudden uh, population hits again? The longest two miles in the history of New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know, have you ever been to Camden? Uh, I'd rather not, I don't think. <laughs> it's lovely this time of year. Hey, hey Pete, did you fart or something? It smells kind of funny in here. That would be northern New Jersey, my friend. Northern New Jersey. Oh, that's why it smells like someone took a giant dump in the middle of the road for the next 20 miles. Okay, just checking with you. That's right, we made it into New Jersey now. Uh, you can tell that because it reeks to high heaven. Someone got pulled over. Oh. Oh, okay. I was too fast. Not cheating. Road work. No, somebody got pulled over. Don't argue with me. Never argue with me. Ever. <laughs> but yeah, we're in New Jersey now. We still have, I guess, another two hours or so. Look at the plane. Let's hope it doesn't crash somewhere. That would suck. Although not really, because I'm filming it, so that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, that, would, that would partially suck for the people that are on board. Time to head to our first pit stop, and we're going to go to the Cheese Quick service area. Cheese Quick, the best named city in all of New Jersey. Would you agree, Peter? Um, I, I'd have to give that a thought. I've always been very partial to Sparta. That is um, a good name, too. It's, it's a Warriors name. It's good for an MMA town, uh, definitely. But Cheese Quick is it's got a universal appeal, I'd say. Yeah, you know, for those who like formaggio and uh, seismic activity. Yeah, seismic cheese activity. And here we are in Cheesequake, the greatest, or at least my favorite, rest stop in all of the trip to Atlantic City, the Irish journey. And yeah, pretty nice. Pete, do you agree with that sentiment? Um, I just like the fact that I've actively been advertising that I've been on a good diet and exercise program, and now there's uh, video evidence of me eating at a rest stop. So I'm going to do with that stomach, because next time I see it, it's going to be 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> What you see there is a Quiznos chicken carbonara sub. And what you see there is Pete Lampasona eating some sort of other sub. Thing. I honestly would not release this without some serious sponsorship money from Quiznos, where I am. Um, but so, now the folks at home, you get to see the glamorous life of a mixed martial arts correspondent. Yeah, this is a glorious feast. We have yeah. a 8-inch sub and water. Sorry, it's Vasa water. Proud sponsor of Pete Lampasona. And, 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 and a V8. V8. None, none of which cages. pay me, though they should. They should. That's, uh, right. That's Vasa water and V8. Proud sponsors of Matt Combat Sports. <laughs> Pete got Froger and he's not sharing it with me. What a douchebag. You're really just filming me eating Froger. I'm going to film you eating Froger and I'm going to film you while panning across as we say goodbye to Cheesequake as the sun begins to set 
and here is the parking lot. That's very exciting. This is riveting film, isn't it? This is riveting footage here. You actually sound like the director depicted by uh, John Malkovich in Shadow of the Vampire. Did anybody <laughs> else besides you watch that movie who's seeing this video it, right now? It was actually kind of popular. There's, there's a good shot. If you haven't, go see it. It was really good. Kind of strange, though. That's some really nice looking for Ogre there. Uh, the no, I don't want any. That's really okay. I don't, I don't want any. I guess Thank I don't you. want to take away from that. But the Frogert is really the star of this shot. So, uh, see, that's got a beauty shot. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that is that is disgusting. Okay. Well, anyway, there you go. That's Pete enjoying his Frogert. That's uh, really nice motorcycle. And next time you see us, we're gonna be in traffic somewhere along the Atlantic City Expressway. So you can look forward to that. Tasteful on the CW. Did you turn the camera on just when I said that? I totally did. Here uh. we are in Atlantic City, glorious Atlantic City, and we actually hit no traffic, miraculously, I guess. Obviously, uh, the only explanation for that is that everybody's home and watching Strike Force Fedor versus Verdum right now, right? Pete, that's, that's the only logical option. Uh, that's, yeah, either that or the library's jam-packed. I don't know what else to say. I was really shocked at how quick we got here. Yeah, this is uh, unusually fast for Atlantic City. No traffic really at all, except for what we hit in the beginning. Um, so here we are, we're looking for valleys, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of what we see so far, which is really nothing much. Yeah, we're still kind of a, a little bit away from the city, but there's some of it over there, in all of its majestic glory. I wonder which one of those Donald Trump is staying in right now. I bet none of them. Good reaction oh. shot from Peter Episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the signs, man. I and there it is right the there. Was in it's in Midtown. It's Midtown, yes, I have video and Now evidence. everyone knows it's Midtown. Everybody knows. Down Beach. Everybody knows. So we're almost in the casino, and uh, once we get there, we're gonna see who's around, talk to some people, look at some M1 merchandise, and I'll show you just how big the crowd is at this event because it's it's huge. It's a massive amount of people that's gonna be at this M1 show, definitely. I am so full of shit. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, we made it to M1 Global, and who did I run into first? But with Garv. Hey, Garv, how's it going? Oh, hey, sorry. It was on the phone. Of course. Are you, of course, with the ring announcer at M1 Global? This is your second time with them? Yep. Uh, this is the part two of the first round of the tournament. We got heavyweights tonight. It's going to be crazy. That's right, heavyweights, and uh, of course, the show is coming back again. When, uh, I believe in August and again in September. Right. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them. I'm not sure of the dates yet, but uh, check it out on thefightnerd.com. Of course. And uh, he will have all the information for you. You can also check out on thegarv.com. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. <laughs> all right. We'll be seeing you in a bit, Garv. Thank Sounds you. Good. Let's get a quick little tour of where we're at here. This is Press Row. Mind you, this is a little after six o'clock over here. There's Zach Lynch right here on the photography. I'm a doppelganger. You're the sexy man over here. <laughs> he's been running around for Bellator for the last few months. Now he's got to get some break. He's here somehow. Yeah, no, we flew back um, immediately after the show and got to Albany at 9.30, and then we drove six hours down here. And somehow you're still awake? Yeah, I slept last night. Here we are filming so, The Fight Nerd, good. doing oh. an interview. I'm being filmed now by Paul Mano. Oh my god. By, uh, Paul Miles of Mano oh. Online. And oh. here we have Paul Miles of oh. Online. And <laughs> This like, is no, this is some kind of homoerotic threesome now. <laughs> Shit's gonna explode this in the is, middle. <laughs> some sort of vortex. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is uh, this is how they got that insane. episode. This is an Android phone that's of... not doing anything, but I can pretend. <laughs> yes, there you go. This is the best threesome I've ever had in my life. That says very bad things about you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, of course, you were all here for M1 Global. Obviously, you guys are gonna no, I'm here the show. for America's Next Top Model auditions. Oh, okay, that's down the hall. You're in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the laptop now, sucker. Yoink! <laughs> oh, shit, he's back. Yeah. Did you see the last Bellator? Did you see it? Did you see the last Bellator? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Liar. <laughs> no, actually, I did. Nobody I watched Bellator. I looked through my camera, so it's not. It's not like seeing. It's more like experiencing the fight. So you were I, I don't see part it the of the same Bellator way experience. As other people. Yes, definitely. Did you have the Bellator experience, Paul? I'm, I'm catching up with the Bellator experience by DVRing the shows. What is this magical DVR you speak of? What, which it's, craft is this? <laughs> oh, that, isn't that some sort of crazy porn? It really is. Oh, no, that's DVD. Yeah. That's us with, with having our little uh, technology yeah, threesome, yeah, yeah. which we'll never speak of again outside of this video. Technology threesomes are awesome. That's hot. All right, and again, here's the ring. And one more time, folks, this is the audience. That's right. There's no one here yet. It's about an hour to go, and there's no one here, and chances are you say that, uh, are yeah, nobody else will be here for this. So, If you bring Jeff Blatnick in this, I'm leaving. He's scared. Gary. That'll be a foursome with God's wrath. <laughs> All right, let's keep far away from that. So we'll return to ringside in a few Hello. moments. Say All bye, right. Paul. I'll get you on Monday. Right. Right? Maybe awesome. tomorrow night. This video is sponsored by Skin Industries, dominating fashion for the past 11 years with hundreds of designs for men, women, and children. Skin Industries is your everyday lifestyle clothing brand. Start living in skin today and check out skinindustries.com.
Dot com.